Hey crafty friends, it's Rena, and I am here with a design team project for Monique Digital Art and um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial. Um, next time I do a project from Monique, I'm going to do a tutorial on how I uh, print the papers. Guys, it is so, so easy. Um, it doesn't require any like skills everything is clustered for you now if you're good at manipulating um, the images you can do other stuff with it but I'm going to tell you from the most basic um, knowledge that I have how easy it is so with my super basic knowledge here is what I was able to pull together and this is a five and a half by seven and a half journal um, it's got a three inch binding and I did five signatures. This is, um, I kind of modified um, some of the techniques that I saw online and I'll show you inside what I did. I kept things on the outside fairly simple um, because things on the inside are just crazy so much going on, on on the inside so love Monique's beautiful beautiful art this right here is something that I found on Pinterest and all the <clears throat> the things that uh, the lettering things uh, the sentiments from um, Alice in Wonderland are things that I found on Pinterest but this beautiful um, Alice and all the papers um, the only things are these, you know, things that have words on them. Those are from Pinterest. Everything else is from the collection. You can see the the teacups and the cupcakes, and it says tea. <clears throat> but I thought this sentiment was perfect for the cover. It's always tea time with the Mad Hatter hat there. And this is what it looks like. Isn't it crazy? I went crazy and um, I normally <clears throat> will not do five signatures um, it was a lot of work it was a lot of ink um, somebody had asked me recently about ink and I mean to do a project like this yes this is a lot of ink but you know normal size project one signature um, you know, mixing um, other papers with printables. I mean, doing cards. It's it's not bad. It's really not bad. So, um, I always get asked as well. I use an Epson Workforce 3640 printer. Cost me 200 bucks. So, not an expensive printer. I have seam binding as a, um, you know, just a, a mild closure. And let's go inside. So it obviously is a very large um, journal. And it's not just a journal. It's also a mini album. And I'm going to show you. So uh, I got to remember how I did this. All right. This opens like that and like that. And like that and this are, are all magnetized so you could see how that just snapped close because those are the magnets holding it there's also a magnet in here to keep that closed this opens like that and you can see all the and there's also a magnet that holds this down so this slides out and you can put a photo here photo here here and then on all these different um, pages I showed you and then inside here I did not put paper in here because it was starting to get a little bit thick and I thought well, once the photos are in there you're just gonna get your little pink border anyway so I did decide to hold off on adding more paper in there So that goes like that, that closes in, and there you go. That's 
the mini album portion. Um, there's going to be another one in the back as well. So I'm going to try to be um, uh, as brief as possible. Um, again, everything with words I did find on Pinterest. I used um, a CD holder. I love, I love, love, love the Alice so much. Um, there's a glassine bag with a tag. This says, this is Alice. This is impossible. The Mad Hatter, only if you believe it is. So, in the envelope. Oh my goodness. In the envelope, I just have... Um, a page folded up for more journaling in there. And then that same sentiment. Um, this one says, it would be so nice if something made sense for a change. And then there is a little tag here. And I'm going to probably find that a few things are sticking because I have not gone through the entire journal since I put it together. So that tag, <clears throat> I just adore the papers and her, um, her version of the Alice. Uh, I just love it. Curiouser and curiouser. Here's a tag. And then we've got a glassine bag. This says, the little girl just could not stop because her thoughts were way too deep and her oh my I can't read that where are my glasses and then we got the little clock down here love this is already clustered for you you just print it fussy cut it out and then I had this little teacup die that was probably gifted to me by someone. Everyone has been so sweet and known that I was uh, collecting and using teacups and teapots and such. So um, this opens like this. Uh, this is a partially uh, clear bag. And I have these two Alice pullouts that could have photos. You could write on the back. It's a little bit dark, but you could write on the back. Um, okay, we're coming to our first little charm here, and this is a teacup. We've got this pull-out tag there, and the hearts and diamonds. We've got a key here. Have I gone mad? I'm afraid so. You're entirely bonkers, but I'll tell you a secret. All the best people are. <laughs> Before Alice got to Wonderland, she had to fall pretty hard down a very deep hole. And this is uh, the sentiment that's on the cover. This is a glassing bag and a tag in there. I love the diamond paper, too. Who in the world am I? Ah, that's the great puzzle. And then here, and I knew I was going to have a spot. There might be another one, but we'll see. Uh, that's going to tuck underneath there. This is something that's already clustered for you in the collection. And here we have a little cupcake charm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what did I do? There we go. Curiouser and curiouser. Here we've got a little, um, what is this? This is like a, a card. But I don't want to go among mad people, Alice remarked. Oh, you can't help that, said the Cheshire Cat. We're all mad here. I'm mad. You're mad. How do you know I'm mad, asked Alice. You must be, said the cat, or you wouldn't have come here. <laughs> so you've got two, two tags that don't want to come out. So we've got two tags there. 
and the Cheshire Cat on the back. I found myself in Wonderland. Drink me. So here's another spot that something could go down in there. Um, I started running out of stuff to do. This is a, a pocket here for some secret storage. This is the key from the collection. You can print it out any size you want. This is already clustered for you. A little tag here. And... Oh, I'm so bad with sticking things in before the glue has dried. And this uh, Cheshire Cat. This one says, there is a place like no place on earth, a land full of wonder, mystery, and danger. Some say to survive it, you need to be as mad as a hatter, which luckily I am. And then a tag here. The adorable bunny. Oh my gosh, so cute. Monique has beautiful creations. I'm going to pull out here. This one, follow the white rabbit. And that's tucked behind this. And then this, you can write on the back for journaling. The tuck spot. Two journaling tags. And an envelope. And a lot of these sentiments, um, you know, I've read them out already. Here is a teacup charm. Did I miss any charms over there? Yeah, we got a key. Okay. Um, and then we've got a, a tuck spot here. This beautiful cluster already. We've read this. This has got a pull out. Um, here we have a tea bag charm. We've got a little glassine tuck spot. Another glassine tuck spot. Um, this cute cupcake, I just added the bow. We've got a tuck spot here. The Cheshire Cat tag. We've got a um, teapot. <laughs> And then here, this opens up, and there's like a little place you could put a note and a pull-out tag. And then here, it's always time for tea. And I just fussy cut the little Cheshire cat head. This is like a teacup die cut. And you can see all the laces and trims. Um, we read this one already. And you saw that one. And this is another um, CD holder. And we've got a pull out and a tag that slide down in there. And this little glassine bag with the pull out. out there two two pull out tags there and the teapot with a bow we've got a pull out here we've got so much more to go um this is something i believe this was gifted to me um, recently, a cup of tea solves everything. There's a little classy tuck spot there. This is a tuck spot. There's a tuck spot up there. I found myself in Wonderland. Um, tuck spot here with the tag. This folds out. There's a little tag in there. And then there's a place, a tuck spot in here. 
If I had a world of my own, everything would be nonsense. Nothing would be what it is because everything would be what it isn't. And contrary wise, contrary wise, what is it? What is what it is, it wouldn't be. And what it wouldn't be, it would. You see, Alice in Wonderland. And then another tuck spot here. Over here, we have a pocket watch charm. The adorable bunny. Here, we have a fold out. Another sentiment, a place to tuck up under in the envelope. Uh, follow the white rabbit. Inside here, we've got a pull out, and that's on the other side. There's Alice with a tuck spot. There's a glassine with a, oh, that's not a glassine, that's like a paper. You could tuck something down in there. Guys, I just started, here's the thing, the charm with milk for the tea. Super cute. This one's got a little teapot. And there's a couple of tags in here. You can see the teapot better there. And then the little rabbit. And there's a place to tuck secret notes in there. And then we've got two tags there. We've got this. And it's just a place for journaling. Here is a place for more storage in there. Cute little teacups and there's a key hanging here. And then over here we have just a, another little place for journaling. This journal just got so full this would last somebody a lifetime. <laughs> this pulls out. This is another um, ugh, CD holder. <laughs> Super cute with all the clustered like, macaroons, cupcakes. And then this little pull out glassine bag here with the bow. This pull out. You can write on the back of that. There's a little tuck spot with this comes in the collection. I just fussy cut that out. Super cute bunny. This pulls out here. And we've got another folded up paper and a place to write on there. Sorry guys, you know I have to get it back in there. You know what we could do? We could put this over here because this is a, a tuck spot. I love the clusters that she already has put together for you. This is another tuck spot under here. This is an envelope, key, journaling paper, another follow the white rabbit. I love the rabbit so much. And then this is journaling. Now you could see in the center of my signature, I did sew the signatures, but then I put this um, stretchy cord and that's what holds it into the binding. And yes, next journal, I will be doing a tutorial on that. Um, this is like a little cracker. This has got a pull out tag. I found myself in Wonderland and then the pretty die cut teacup there. And we've got this big tag, and the teapot, a cupcake, and another paper for journaling. And this has got a pull out tag, and this is just the, a larger tag that I turned into a pocket. And then we have a beautiful rose charm. And this cluster, this is a pull out for journaling, a pull out. This says, sometimes I believe in as many, sometimes I believe 
in as many as six impossible things before breakfast. And I did stamp the teapots and such because that looked like breakfast to me. And then um, she has the heart, the clover, the spade, and the diamond. I couldn't fit them all on there. It would be so nice if something made sense for a change. Here I have another little teapot. And it's always time for tea with the teacups and the book. And there's a tag here, tucks in there. This opens up and there's two tags in here and there's a place for uh, stuff to go in there. I don't know why I didn't put anything here. So I found myself in Wonderland and here's a um, another folded paper for journaling, a tag here behind the Cheshire Cat. cake and that opens up and there's a tag in there did a lot of die cutting it's two little tags here and then that opens up and this comes out and then there's a little tag for in there I love this cluster too. There's a little cupcake here. And there's a glassine bag here with a pullout for journaling. This is a pullout behind the key. There's a tag here behind the Cheshire Cat. And then here we have also again these bags that have the clear see-through on them and I had done that in my first signature and my last signature and there here we have two pullouts that you can just you know unfold and journal on this folds out we've got the bunny again a little tag we've got a pullout tag here We've got a key with little hearts. In this glassine bag, we have this and one of these from the collection. We're getting towards the end here. Would you like an adventure now or should we have our tea first? And then there's a teapot and there is a teacup on this tag. Tag there with Alice. This has got a little mushroom. There's a pull out here. Two tags here. Again, I stamped the, the teapots and teacups. Got a couple tags here. An envelope. We've got a pull out and this unfoldable pull out. And then back here, we have a little pocket here. It's always time for tea with the teapot. And then there's more room in this um, bag that pulls out for, you know, if you want to keep receipts, ticket stubs, any kind of stuff like that. And then in the very back here, this opens up like this. And it is magnetized. So it closes like that, and then this opens and then we have a waterfall. So lots of room for photos back here, photo here, photo here, photo here. You know, all of these. And there you go. 
how many minutes are we at? Oh my goodness, that's way too so long. I'm sorry. Anyway, guys, um, usually this is the point where I say, hey, if you're interested in this, let me know. But I did share this on my vlog just briefly, and somebody asked for it. Um, somebody who's been a long, long time subscriber. Uh, but I will tell you, normally a book like this would probably be in the ballpark of one. 50 to 160 because of all the printing and ink that went into this not to mention the time this took me like five days and normally a pro normally my projects I can get done in like two two and a half days at the most so anyway thanks for watching stay tuned if you want to see a binding tutorial I will be doing that very soon and I will be doing a printing tutorial as well thanks for watching happy scrappy day head over to Monique's store I will link everything in the description box down below and I'm not kidding, this is to me, I mean, this is like the shabby, chicest, sweetest, loveliest Alice collection ever. Check it out. Bye, guys.